Are you ready for another video on living abroad on a $500 a month budget? It may seem impossible in most parts of the world, but guess what? There are still magical places around the world where that dream is attainable and comes with a sprinkle of joy. In this episode, we're globetrotting to discover 10 amazing destinations where you can hang out with beautiful single women and live out your golden years without the financial burden. Who do you think will come out on top in our affordability chart? The sun-kissed shores of the Philippines, the bustling markets of Bolivia, the tranquil landscapes of Nepal, or maybe the cultural diversity of Pakistan. Let's get started with our very first exotic destination. Number 10, Indonesia. Nestled in Southeast Asia's heartland, Indonesia is the biggest archipelago in the world, covering an area of 1.9 million square kilometers and boasting a population of more than 270 million people. Indonesia is the fourth most populous nation in the world and is rich with a mix of more than 300 ethnic communities and 700 languages. Indonesians are known for their hospitality and friendliness, which makes them an ideal destination for expatriates and retirees alike. For those looking for a serene retirement, Indonesia offers an idyllic setting. To be eligible for a retirement visa, applicants must be 55 years of age or older and demonstrate financial stability. The recommended pension is about $1,500 per month. The Ketis retirement visa is valid for one year and can be renewed annually for a maximum of five years after that. Retirees can apply for permanent stay permits, further easing long-term settlement plans. The allure of Indonesia lies not only in its landscapes, but also in its affordability. Prices for a one-bedroom apartment vary from $150 to $500 outside city centers and within major cities. Monthly bills for utilities such as electricity, water, and garbage disposal are usually between $40 to $80. The cost of groceries can range from $100 to $200. The cost of dining can range from $2 at the local restaurants to $20 for a three-course meal at a more upscale restaurant. Public transport is quite affordable with monthly passes ranging from $15 to $30. The average monthly cost of living for a retiree living in Indonesia can start at $500, depending on lifestyle and location. How does the Philippines support foreign retirees? We'll discuss the special requirements and benefits of its SAR-RV program soon. Number 9. Philippines The Philippines covers an impressive 300,000 square kilometers and is made up of over 7,600 islands, each with its own unique sights and experiences. From the incredible rice terraces of Banaue, often called the eighth wonder of the world, to the incredible chocolate hills in Bohol, the Philippines is a showcase of some of the world's most diverse and spectacular landscapes for retirees looking to retire here. The Philippines offers the Special Resident Retirees Visa, SSRV, a program designed for foreign retirees. A deposit of $10,000 is required if you receive at least $800 monthly pension for a single applicant, $11,000 if you are married, and $20,000 if you don't have a pension. For younger retirees aged 35 to 49, the deposit is $50,000. A one-bedroom apartment in the city centers of the Philippines typically costs around $350, while similar accommodations can be found in quieter areas near the city center for about $200. Utility expenses average monthly bill of a standard household comes to around $75, and dining out is an affordable pleasure. The average cost of a meal at a decent restaurant is around $3, and a three-course dinner for two is only $20. Public transportation is very affordable, with monthly passes costing around $20. Healthcare is also available, with regular doctor's appointments costing between $10 and $20 without insurance. Overall, a retiree living in the Philippines can live comfortably on around $500 a month, depending on lifestyle and the area they choose to call home. Women in the Philippines are celebrated for their beauty, education, loyalty, and love. Many excel in medicine, technology, and in the arts. Many Filipinos also excel in English, a language that has been shaped by the country's American influences. The Philippines is a hub for communication and connection, with an abundance of languages. 
This linguistic advantage also allows expatriates to build stronger connections and relationships, giving them the opportunity to find not only a new home, but a partner with whom to share it. Covering an area of 147,516 square kilometers, Nepal may appear small on the map, but it certainly doesn't lack in landscape diversity or cultural richness. From the towering heights of Mount Everest, the highest peak on Earth, to the lush valleys of the Terai region, the country is a mosaic of stunning landscapes. The legendary hospitality of the Nepalese makes every visitor feel warmly welcomed, almost like part of the family. For retirees, the practicalities of living in Nepal are just as attractive. To qualify for a Nepalese retirement visa, one must be at least 50 years old and demonstrate financial stability, typically through proof of a steady pension or sufficient retirement savings. These visas are issued annually and can be renewed each year as long as the financial and legal requirements are met. Living in Nepal is surprisingly affordable, a major draw for retirees, especially in cities like Pokhara, known for its breathtaking natural views and proximity to outdoor adventures. A one-bedroom apartment in the center of Pokhara ranges from $150 to $250 per month, with even cheaper options just outside the city. Utility costs in the city center can be reduced to between $100 to $150 per month. Transportation costs are extremely low, with local bus fares starting at 20 to 30 cents. Dining out remains affordable as well, with meals at a moderate restaurant ranging from two to four dollars, and a more substantial three-course meal at a mid-range venue costing between 15 to 25 dollars. Overall, the realistic monthly cost of living in Nepal would be around 500 dollars, making it an appealing option for those seeking a comfortable retirement on a tight budget. Moreover, the cultural fabric of Nepal offers deep engagement, especially for those who express their feelings and values through vibrant avenues like art, music, and dance. The society values modesty, and many Nepalese women actively participate in both home and work life, upholding and celebrating their rich cultural and religious traditions. North Cyprus, officially known as the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, spans an area of 3,355 square kilometers on the island of Cyprus. Despite its modest size, North Cyprus boasts dramatic scenery, featuring tranquil beaches, rugged mountains, and picturesque views, making it a peaceful retreat from city life. For those considering retirement here, North Cyprus offers an affordable lifestyle without sacrificing quality. To qualify for a retirement visa, you must be 60 years of age or older and demonstrate financial stability supported by regular income from pensions or investments. Upon arrival, visitors receive an entry permit valid for 30 to 90 days, depending on their nationality, and this permit must be renewed annually. The average monthly cost of living for an individual in the city center is around $490. A one-bedroom apartment in the city center costs about $300 per month, while living just outside the city center reduces the cost to about $250 per month. Utility expenses for an 85-square-meter apartment range from $70 to $100 per month. Grocery prices are reasonable. A liter of milk costs about $1, a loaf of bread about $0.75, cents, and a dozen eggs around $2.50. cents. Eating out remains affordable with a meal in an inexpensive restaurant costing between $6 to $10, and a three-course meal for two at a mid-range restaurant costing between $25 and $40. Transportation is also affordable. A one-way bus ticket costs about $1 to $2, while a monthly bus pass ranges from $40 to $60. In North Cyprus, you'll find not only beautiful scenery but also a diverse and intellectually stimulating community with many local women pursuing advanced degrees and careers in education, healthcare, business, and the arts. Nestled between Thailand, Laos, and Vietnam, Cambodia covers an area of about 500 square kilometers and is renowned for its stunning landscapes and rich cultural heritage. At the heart of the country's tourist attractions lies the Angkor Wat Temple Complex, the largest religious structure in the world symbolizing the spirit of the nation. The Cambodian people are known for their resilience, warmth, and welcoming nature, 
appealing to both visitors and expatriates. For those looking to retire in Cambodia, there is a retirement visa, or ER visa, specifically designed for people 55 years or older who are not employed in the country and can demonstrate sufficient financial means to support themselves. This visa is flexible, valid for six months or 12 months, and is renewable. The monthly living expenses for a single person in Cambodia are around $490. Housing in Siem Reap is very affordable, with one-bedroom apartments costing around $200, and utility costs such as electricity, water, and garbage collection ranging from $50 to $100 per month. The cost variation is largely dependent on the use of air conditioning, which can increase electricity costs. Grocery shopping will cost you around $150 a month, depending on your dietary and cooking habits. Dining out remains a cost-effective option, with meals at restaurants ranging from $3 to $5. Public transport costs around $30 a month, Though many expatriates prefer the convenience of scooter rentals, which cost between $50 and $100 a month. Cambodian culture is full of diversity and deeply traditional, offering a unique insight into personal and social relations. Dating culture in Cambodia is more conservative, especially in rural areas, where traditional values are held in high regard. The importance of maintaining chastity until marriage is emphasized while urban areas like Phnom Penh exhibit a more casual approach to dating. This combination of Western culture and traditional values provides a fascinating glimpse into the changing social dynamics in Cambodia, reflecting a culture that respects its heritage while gradually embracing global ideas. Bolivia is a beautiful nation with a population of approximately 11 million people. The country covers an area of one, one million square kilometers and is characterized by a rich culture and tradition. Landscapes range from the vast Salar de Uyuni salt flats to the towering Andes mountains. The natural beauty of the country is breathtaking. The people of Bolivia are known for celebrating their rich cultural heritage with festivals and music that invites you to dance along. For those looking to retire here, the country offers the specific purpose of a visa. You must be 50 years of age or older and demonstrate a stable pension income of between $200 and $250 monthly for a period of up to one year. This visa can then be converted into a temporary, then permanent residency. Living in Bolivia is incredibly affordable, with a single person spending about $480 a month on average, which is 60% less than in the U.S. Eating out in a budget-friendly restaurant won't break the bank and a meal at a grocery store costs around $3. A gallon of milk is about $2 a gallon, bread is 50 cents per pound, and a gallon of milk is $1.00 in cities like La Paz. You can rent a one-bedroom apartment for about $145 per month. Utilities are surprisingly affordable, usually not more than $50 per month for basics including internet. Cost of transportation is low. Local bus fares are only a few cents. Taxi rides within cities are usually under $10. Exploring Bolivia is easy and affordable. Not only does it offer scenic and financial benefits, but it also has a rich cultural tapestry. Bolivian women are famous for their golden skin and beautiful hair. They have a strong sense of self-worth and love for their families and pets. If you are looking for a long-term relationship, women from Bolivia represent an ideal match. They consider marriage a sacred lifelong commitment. They are resilient and resilient in the face of challenges. They are loyal companions who support each other through triumphs and trials. Vietnam covers an area roughly the size of Italy and is home to some of the world's most beautiful landscapes. From the cascading rice terraces of the North Sapa to the labyrinthine waterways of the South's Mekong Delta, Vietnam's coastline stretches for more than 3,000 kilometers and is dotted with pristine beaches such as those found in Da Nang, NHA Trang, and the Central Highlands. Vietnam's people are renowned for their hospitality, welcoming all who travel to explore the country. Retirees can enjoy an affordable lifestyle in a culturally rich setting, although there is no specific retirement visa for Vietnam. Retirees can stay legally in Vietnam through the renewal of a tourist visa or the obtaining of a business visa. Living costs are remarkably low and can be maintained comfortably at around $450 per month for a one-bedroom apartment in the center of the city 
and around $250 per month outside of the city center. A standard apartment includes electricity, water heating, garbage collection, and other utilities. Transportation costs range from $7 to $100 depending on usage. Public transport passes cost between $7 to $15 and taxis start at $1. Dining out is also cheap at 0.50 cents with an additional 50 cents per kilometer. A meal at a cheap restaurant costs anywhere from $1.50 to $3.50. High quality healthcare is affordable at a fraction of the cost in the West with specialist consultations costing $20 to $50. Vietnamese women are often praised for their elegance and beauty standards, which resonate well across Asia and globally. Common features include high cheekbones, double eyelids, and straight black hair, which aligns with regional and global beauty standards. The international success of Vietnamese girls in beauty pageants reflects the worldwide recognition of their unique beauty. This aspect of Vietnamese culture is captivating and attractive to international visitors now that the last three countries have made you think twice before going on before we continue. Located between India, Myanmar, and the Bay of Bengal, Bangladesh covers an area of approximately 57,500 square miles. Despite its small size, Bangladesh is full of life and beauty, from the lush green hills of Silhet, the tea capital, to the mighty rivers like the Padma, Meghna, and Jamuna that run through the fertile plains. Bangladesh offers diverse and inspiring views today. Bangladesh does not have a special retirement visa, those wishing to settle here can look into options such as the private investor visa, which is an alternative to a long-term tourism visa for those not planning to invest. This visa can be extended under specific conditions, providing flexibility for retirees. For a single person residing in Bangladesh, the estimated monthly expenditure is around $400 in busy urban centers, such as the capital, Dhaka. A one-bedroom flat in the city center is priced between $200 and $300 per month. For those seeking a more secluded setting, a comparable apartment just off the city center is usually priced between $150 and $250 per month. In rural and less developed areas, one-bedroom apartments are available for as low as $75 to $125 per month. Utility bills for a standard apartment that includes electricity, heating, cooling, water, and garbage are usually between $35 and $50 per month. Eating out remains affordable. A meal at a cheap restaurant costs around $2 to $3 while a three-course meal for two at a middle-range restaurant will cost around $15 to $20. Transportation costs are low, with a monthly bus and auto rickshaw pass usually costing between $10 to $15. Bangladesh is known for its friendly people. Bangladeshi women are known for intelligence, charm, and beauty, with expressive eyes and long, thick hair in urban areas. Women are more active in the labor force, although traditional roles still exist in many areas. This evolving dynamic adds a layer of richness to the country's culture, making it an interesting destination for expats. India spans more than 3 million square kilometers and is the world's seventh largest country by area. It's a land of stark contrasts, with the majestic Himalayas of the north contrasting with the sun-drenched beaches of the south. If you're thinking of retiring in India, you'll be interested to learn that while India doesn't offer a specific retirement visa, it does offer an entry visa. This visa is ideal for retirees who aren't Indian, but wish to spend extended periods of time in the country engaged in activities such as yoga or volunteering. It's important to note that if you spend more than 180 days in India, you will need to register with the nearest non-Indian regional registration office within 14 days of arriving in the bustling city centers of India. A one-bedroom apartment in the city centers of India will cost around $150 to $300 per month, while those outside the city centers are even more affordable with rents ranging from $100 to $200 per month. When it comes to utilities, you can expect to pay between $20 to $40 per month for essential groceries like milk, bread, rice, and eggs. A monthly bus pass costs only $5 to $15, and a taxi ride falls between $1 and $2. Taking all of these expenses into consideration, 
A retiree living comfortably in India can live on around $400 to $500 per month, depending on lifestyle preferences and location. The people of India contribute to the country's charm, known for its warm hospitality. Indians come from a diverse range of ethnicities, contributing to the richness of the country's communities. Indian women often wear traditional attire such as saris, reflecting the country's sense of identity. Beauty in India is not only about outward appearance, but also about the deep cultural appreciation of inner qualities such as kindness and intelligence that are celebrated in daily life. If you're thinking of retiring on a budget in Pakistan, we'll break down your monthly living expenses. Let's take a look at the rich culture tapestry that makes India a South Asian gem. Nestled between the shores of the Arabian Sea and the majestic Himalayas, Pakistan covers an area of 88,191 square kilometers, making it the 33rd biggest country in the world. For those seeking adventure and beauty, the northern regions such as Gilgit-Baltistan are a paradise. Not only are these regions stunning, but they are steeped in rich history and folklore, providing a tranquil retreat for those seeking to escape the hectic pace of modern life. It is important to note, however, that there is no specific retirement visa available in Pakistan. Potential retirees may have to consider other kinds of visas, such as work-based or family visas, depending on their circumstances. Let's talk numbers. Pakistan remains one of the most affordable retirement destinations in the world, with an average monthly cost of living ranging from $175 to $275 for a one-bedroom flat in bustling cities such as Islamabad or Lahore. Renting a one-bedroom typically falls between $75 to $125 per month, depending on the location and amenities offered, such as electricity, heating, cooling, water, and garbage collection. Around $15 to $25 per month for groceries. This should be around $50 to $75 per month. This estimate includes a variety of local meats and staple foods that are usually less expensive than what you can find in most Western countries. Getting around the city on a budget is easy with local buses and rickshaws. These will only cost you around $10 to $15 per month, making it an economical way to get around urban areas. Pakistan's culture is rich and vibrant. The traditional clothing worn by Pakistani women is not only a fashion statement, but also a symbol of cultural identity. Pakistani women are at the forefront of social change despite challenges such as gender inequality and lack of educational opportunities. Their resilience adds an extra layer of beauty and strength to our nation's character. If you enjoyed today's video, please like it and subscribe to our Epic ExploreX channel. Your support means a lot to us. Don't forget to watch the next video coming up on your screen. You're sure to love what we have to offer. Please leave a comment on which country you'd like us to visit next. Thank you for watching and seeing us in the latest video. Thank you for joining us on this amazing journey. Please leave your feedback in the comments section and like it to help us. Remember to subscribe for more videos. See you soon.